not too long ago I purchased a condo, um, which I had no intention of doing. I surprised myself, and I'm going to tell you about how the purchase came about. I've been living in the D.C. metro area for the past 10 years, and during that time I've seen a lot of residences, houses, uh, townhouses, condos. I've talked to my, uh, some of my friends about their own purchases and just kind of gotten a feel for the market, what's out there, what, what uh, houses, you know, different kinds of residences are selling for these days, and just kind of checked out the whole market. And uh, during my travels around town, I've, I've gone to some uh, uh, open houses just to get an idea. And uh, I was on one particular uh, street that I was really taken by. And I didn't know if there was ever going to be anything for sale on the street that I could afford or if anything would ever come out of it. But this, this particular street stuck in my mind after I left the area. So I continued my window shopping or um, just attending open houses for the enjoyment of it to get an idea of the, the D.C. area and perhaps find a location that I would be interested in settling down someday. And um, I also would peruse the newspapers and, and see what was out there. And um, one day I noticed a, a, a condo for sale that was in the price range that I could afford. And I thought, hey, you never know. Take a look at it, let's see. So I drove over to the address listed in the paper. When I got there, I realized it was that street that I had been at some time before. It was the street that, that always stuck in my mind. So that was the first clue. And then when I went into the condo and looked around, it was a nice condo. I really liked it. So it started looking more and more like a real possibility. So I talked to the real estate agent and um, asked him, well, you know, what's the actual price that this condo is selling for? And he, he told me what the price was, he or she. And um, I said, well, you know, I, I could pay it, but it's a little more than what I wanted to pay. I said, you know, would you ask the owner if, if they'd be willing to take 10000 off the price? The real estate agent didn't think that was a very likely possibility, but said that they would, that they would give it a shot.
So I waited for, to hear back from the real estate agent, and um, finally they got back to me. And sure enough, the owner said they would be willing to take 10000 off the price. I couldn't believe it. So then I had to take a breath and think, well, this looks like this, really, this is really going to go. And not only that, interest rates were incredibly low. They were only 7.5%. And you know, for quite a while now, interest rates have been over 10%, 11 even 12%. And I didn't know, you know, where am I going to find a deal like this again? They took 10000 off the price. The interest rates are incredibly low. I don't know if I can pass this up. But the only thing is that at the same time, I was also um, in school studying for my doctors. So I really wasn't prepared to do this, but I decided I, I can't pass this up. So I said, So once I made the big decision, then, we, then I had to, to uh, deal with the bank. So I got in touch with the bank, and they did an appraisal on the house, passed appraisal, and then they had to do a credit check, which I could not believe. Down to the very penny, these, these people checked my credit from like the past two or three years. They went through all my credit cards, my bills, everything. through the credit process and everything was done, everything had passed, I was all set to go except for my car loan. The bank said I had five months left on my car loan and I had to pay the whole thing off in one, in one lump sum. So I added up what is five months of car payments and it, it was a pretty big sum and I, I didn't have that kind of money so I got a hold of my mom and my sister and you know my whole family helped out and I, I still didn't have enough. And I couldn't believe it. The real estate agent actually chipped in and even helped me make that payment. So I was able to pay off my car loan. So I got that taken care of, paid off my car, and everything was all set. The only thing was the owner still lived in the condo, so I had to wait for the owner to move out, which seemed to take forever. So finally, two months later, after from the initial viewing to the day I moved in, it was two months. And uh, my friends were great. They helped me take all my furniture over there and got me all moved in and settled and everything so I could get back to studies on my PhD. And I moved in, I had my condo, and I'm all through with my studies. It's all done. <laughs>